Hi there guys, welcome back. This is Kishore here, founder and CEO of Trade Achievers. So this is another episode of our review and preview. So all right guys, now uh, as we can see, uh, there's not a much of a difference today in Nifty. And uh, <clears throat> so like I said yesterday, the market just uh, closed above the previous line of resistance now. <clears throat> Not a big level of close, just a small leak of a candle. So we don't consider it much as a breakout. And uh, so Nifty is going in a good uh, buy side and we had a 100 points movement up. So my suggestion is we can still wait for a long term buy if not it started. So long term buy has to start once the market closes above 15,000. So that will be the right place to go for a huge investments in uh, <coughs> the stocks in Nifty 50. So that is my suggestion. All right. And uh, <coughs> coming to Bank Nifty. So as I said uh, in the last video, so Bank Nifty is still uh, trading near that uh, 33,000 level is acting as a major resistance and today it's not able to break it. So we had uh, just a 44 points up in the uh, Bank Nifty. And um, as I already analyzed about Bank Nifty, uh, the detailed report, still the stocks are holding up. We need a good momentum. So the momentum has not started. Maybe tomorrow we can expect a moment because uh, it's Friday, the expiry is done today. So we may expect a moment. If Bank Nifty is able to close about 33,000, we can expect a good level of movement for like 700 to 900 points in Bank Nifty. And uh, coming to gold, <clears throat> so gold, uh, as we said, uh, it was in a good buy trend. And uh, now the gold has taken a major life uh, level of resistance near uh, 1800. So my suggestion for trading gold, if you did not buy it over here at the low points, you better go for a buy after the market closes above 1800. So you can go for a buy in gold after the market closes above 1800. So that will be a very nice place to buy gold. And finally, people were asking about crude oil. And uh, coming to crude oil, so crude oil has hit a major level of resistance now. So we cannot buy crude oil now. And uh, once it, it closes above 66.85, so that is almost around $69, $67. So if crude oil closes above $67, we can go for a buy. And uh, if at all, if there's going to be a children, so now in one hour, this is acting as a support. So if crude oil closes below 64.90, so a close below that can give a little bit of room for a downside and we can expect a target of around $64. For a short term trades, we can, if the crude oil closes below 64.90 or 85, we can expect around $1 movement. And if still the downtrend continues, we can expect 63. So $2 momentum for crude oil downtrend is possible in the lower time frame. All right, so nothing much of a movement today and nothing much of a change from our last analysis in Nifty and Bank Nifty. So this is my analysis for the review and preview today. All right. So I hope uh, this video was useful and uh, it's uh, benefiting most of our subscribers. So thank you very much for tuning in. Take care.